What is going on YouTube? This is John from Emphatic coming to you with an Emphatic War recap. This is the recap of the war that missed our arrange this weekend. Uh, apparently we're going to try to match them again this weekend, so awesome. But uh, not going to say whom we missed. But this one, I'm going to preface this one and then show you the Town Hall 11s where we clearly did not pay attention to the... I don't want to say rule, but the rule turned into a contest that this one would be air attacks, and we were running a contest to see whom could do the most impressive air attacks, and the winner at Town Hall 10 slash 11 would get a $25 gift card, and the winner at Town Hall 9, we had a $25 gift card. Uh, we have not announced a winner yet. I would assume that's coming. I would hope that's coming. Because we did have some spiffy attacks. But uh, as you see, we won 70 to 57. Uh, you know, 14 to 3, 3 stars. 12 to 21, 2 stars. The 2 stars and the 10, 10 11s because we're trying to do the air stuff. A lot of us like our miners, so... Including me. But as you see here... Shaggy just got his level 4 miners, so he's not exactly paying attention to this. He actually did a queen charge. Or something. Queen something here. I'm just going to speed through it, because... Minor insanity. Even though there, there is some uniqueness there. Look at that pathing straight to the eagle. That is nice. And the miners are in, under rage. And... Warden ability. Probably a little bit too early, but... He probably only lost one or two. And Swag's a heal. For his first big boy minor attack. Good job, Shaggy. Here's me. Miners don't fly, but reasons. Mostly because it's hard to get inspired on these types of bases to do any type of air attack. Surgical Miner Deployment in a way to help funnel the miners back in and keep them from way wandering around outside. Yeah, we got a nice tight group. We brought in some more miners up top to help funnel their way back in. And really, there's a good portion there staying within the ring. So now that they've started being thinned out by this Inferno is where they started to go back to the outside. And that's kind of what I've been thinking with uh, watching JFK's videos is... Uh, you got to try to... It's a way to keep your miners into the thick of things. And uh, definitely something I'm going to be exploring more on my Town Hall 10. In fact, I have a small little study video that I saved. I'm not going to show it because it's beating up MPs, 89k base. But uh, just something I noticed for from... Uh, the attack method. And here we go, we got Knob Gobbler. Knob Gobbler's probably going to be the winner. I think he wins by default. But this is still a good attack. There we go. We got uh, Golems down, Bowlers down, Bowler CC. Yeah, that's the one thing I did this war is I tried doing a Bowl Out Loon. And I'm not used to bringing CC Bowlers for, as a Town Hall 10 anymore. So, my Bowlers guy came out really super late to do anything. But here we go. Freeze down. Bullers in under rage and heal. They're chucking rocks all over the place. Queen's already down. This push is legendary, so he's going to take out Inferno eventually. There we go. Bullers should go and get the Inferno. And maybe somebody takes that single target, too. I don't know. But uh, there we go. There's the Hounds coming in. Balloons slowly make their way in. Single target's going to work on, this, uh, on these Hounds, so that's going to help them pop. He might get both of them pop. It looks like he's got the timing to do so. Because they're going to go after that expo. Then they're going to finally go to the air defense. So there we go. Both hounds pop thanks to the single target Inferno who is distracted by the pups that were over on that side. And now the balloons collapse on it. So he's got three in the bag. Balloons are going to get take a beating from that expo. However, they will not all go down. And there we go, a nice split for cleanup. Oh, there's still uh, mortars. 
There we go. That's even better. Put uh, put a balloon directly on that gold storage to get it started. So definitely an impressive attack by Nob. And even if this, even if there were other air attacks, this one would definitely be high up on my list to vote for. So good attack, bro. We got here, Batman. <laughs> okay, Batman also did something. With a base with pink walls. Doing a govalo, govaloon. So let's get her working. Baby dragon down. Yeah, the rules was uh, 80 troops base worth of uh, air, air units. So sizable portion. That's how we... Uh, Signified that was an air attack, and healers don't count towards that 80 troop space, by the way. So there we go. Some balloons coming in, get the easy ones. Pathing straight to the uh, air defense under haste. And they will be coming in, expo on ground. And they leave the rage, but Queen goes up and gets the last air defense, anyways. So that's a nice little impressive attack. It's really. Uh, Bad base. Look at all those minions. He should have just left the wizards at home and just had them all be minions. Just overdo it. Not really overdo it, but all air. That's a cool attack. This one's a cool attack, but it's also the fourth time somebody has done this. And I think it was all... Well, it, it took them four tries to get this together. It was almost like they FC'd this base. But, no, but of course nobody had it. But as you see there, 48 minions, a baby dragon, a hound, four balloons, four healers. So every, there's, the only thing on the ground is the her, heroes. And uh, I believe that's a CC full of minions as well. So there we go. Earthquake down. Healers should be coming in. Let the queen go down pretty far, too, before uh, sending in the queen, finally. There we go. So he quakes open the walls. First rage down for the queen. King is down to do some outside funneling. And basically that's just uh, ways to get the miners going in targeted better. So queen is just taking on a whole bunch of point defenses here. More miners are coming in on the outside. And I believe this thing was almost fresh tripled with this attack, too. So, I mean, definitely a lot of credit for the first time through. And, oh, look, there's there's the red bombs. I was wondering where the red bombs went when I watched this. When it was finally successfully pulled off. Maybe the healers soak up the rest. But there we go. Balloons coming in. Ba another baby dragon is down to clean up. Up top. We got a horde of minions running through. CC minions still not deployed. There they come, right there up at 12 o'clock. More balloons coming in. Eating up some black bombs. I don't know if they, if there was a red bomb that came up right now. It would probably, probably been pretty funny and just devastating. He'd have lost the majority of his miners or minions there. But there we go. Just a horde. You get these types of wars, that's where the show-off stuff comes out. Good raid by Damio. <clears throat> Damio. I, I have a dry voice right now. Here's me with a six-pack. Fresh. This one will just speed through. I wouldn't vote for this attack, mostly because watch the funny happen. So there we go. Bullish coming in, and... Everybody leaves. I missed my jump. <coughs> so that sucks. But uh, really, with this go, go, uh, Shattered Balalo, it's really about clearing half the base, so that way you get yourself a path made up. Granted, it wasn't the greatest pathing, because I had to spread out my initial balloons here. I couldn't just uh, tunnel vision them. But really, it ended up uh, being in my favor, because now they're collapsing down on that expo. You know, haste there to grab all of the balloons that were already down. And 
there's a lot of time without a hound on that air defense, but so many balloons up, that's not going to matter. So there we go. Here's one. I'm going to show my other one because that's an attack that I would totally vote for if you could vote for yourself. Watch Sarah. Sarah does good attacks, and Sarah's not normally an air attacker, but here she is with the triple. Here we go. We got a golem. He went up into this nook where there was an opening. Baby dragon's down the funnel. Does not have any ground units outside of her cannon here, so... She really went with the uh, all-air attack. Queen steps up. Do some funneling. No healers for her, either. King going to come down and go in, or is the king going to go elsewhere? Yeah, so there's, there's the king. King will be going up and getting the queen. Poison's down for the queen and CC. It's going to get a skeleton spell as well in there, or a skeleton trap in there. It's always amazing to me to see people who have air units with baby dragons in their clan castles. But there we go. She's got a nice little pathing carved out for her uh, balloons. So they just go straight up this way around. Nice counterclockwise deployment. She's got set up for herself. Drops her third hound on there. A little bit ill-advised, I would assume. But, uh... And it's probably been better to have all of her haste down. But like we said, Sarah's not normally an air attacker. I am neither. So, Oh, she had a CC Hound too. So, The cool thing is with her the balloons taking the slower approach is that CC Hound should blow up too. You see there, it's actually taking a beating. I don't know if that, that Hound's even going to get a chance to go over. Drops a heal spell for her troops. Oh, it's going to save the level 2 Hound momentarily until that Black Bomb hits it. But all the other balloons are getting healed up to full. Real smart idea. Instead of raging your balloons, you have a heal or more haste for them to speed them through the base. Or ensure that they stay standing a little bit longer. Because now we got all full health balloons there. That are going to have a little bit of pathing to go around to take out that uh, wizard tower that's hitting them. So if they were weaker, she would have never finished this raid. But uh, since they start out from full health, at least two of them survived. Plenty of pups up. So, nice three stars for Sarah. Uh-oh, we left one. Where's my other one? This is, this is my other one. This is the one I would vote for. So oh, there we go. And this one's actually got some niftier wall breaking too. Uh, because I'm not targeting up here or over here. I'm targeting right here. <coughs> so we let the wizards work to get that second tier funnel gone. And here we go with the wall breakers. I don't know why I sent a test one when there's camp there, but it's habit. Here we go. We got King coming in to go get the uh, queen. Rage him up eventually, or Rage of Bowlers up, and scary moment when my golems hit two double bombs, or a giant bomb set, but fortunately, my bowlers were out of rage, so there's a heal down and rage for them to bring them up, so two air, or one air defense is already gone, eventually they're going to come over and get this one, in the meantime, the Laloon portion is already on the ground, so no haste needed. We drop it to help speed them over towards this one. And here we go with the black bombs chasing my hounds. And actually it's a red bomb that takes out the one because the fresh hounds the one who started getting targeted by the black bomb and the air defense first. So, hound has already popped. A, lot, a ton of pups still left up. If I was paying a little bit more attention, I'd have saved a balloon for that cannon. And it would have been done even faster. But still, all that cleanup left up, that's a dominant raid. See what Thrasher's bringing. Thrasher appears to be bringing at least a quad la loon. Double poison down for the CC. Rage for the king and queen. 
I don't see the point of raging a kill squad when you don't have uh, ballers there. And he's raging his balloons. I know some of us are starting to come across the same philosophy that Poetic Darkness has in leave it, not raging your balloons because it just seems to be too much. Send in the Max Hound last, so the Max Hound never pops. Yeah, but he's got more than enough cleanup left. This raid, was, I think, was pretty quick, too, so time was never a, fat, a danger. And he drops his heel for his squad. Nick? I think this is, yeah, this is another one that's pretty dominant, too. So there we go. Queen, healer's honor. I think she already took down one air defense. Hog's coming in to get the lure. We'll go through this part. He's still got four more healers in the bag. CC bowlers down with healers all on them. Probably overdoing it on the healers on them, but that's only a slight nitpick. Mostly because I know from doing plenty of bowler walks how many you need. Kane came in to go, oh, why am I on high speed? So Kane came in and got the last air defense, so there's still a hound that basically never got hit. And balloons coming in, swerved all sides. So this was basically a bowl alone. And everybody is collapsing on the court. Rage for the everybody in the corks. He needed so little rages for his uh, kill squad. Queen actually just went down. But now it's time for cleanup. He's still got three spells in the bag. So. Speed it up. He's just going to speed him along to get the last buildings. Archer was out on the corner to get that arch that uh, barracks. Everybody goes go get the uh, skeletons real fast, but... Finish it all off. Alright, so... Just because it's an air special, we'll go through. We're, we're, we're going to start going fast now. 4X, another Sarah attack. Oh, does she? Looks like she... It's got 70% there, minions. Yeah, she probably just barely beat the met the 80%. Sarah tries to bend the rules. But she lives on the edge. Good move, good raid by Sarah. Actually, you know, I'm going to cut this one short because i got to leave soon for bowling. Last one I want to show is Cookies, though, because Cookies is also not a regular air attacker. Yeah, i got bowling tonight, and i got to still record a recap I tried recording yesterday and did not have my audio for, so we're going to 4X this one for Cookie. You know, not the most flawless of attacks, but definitely awesome that he was able to do this. He got two air defenses with his charge. Yeah, I just got done with softball season. My bowling season just started up, too. So, uh, no rest on the evenings for me. Uh, bowled a 235 last week, too, so that was one of my, that's probably my highest score right now. Seven straight strikes. It was pretty cool. I just wasn't even paying attention. I was just going up there and throwing. So, really cool. We'll see if I can reciprocate tonight. Or replicate whatever word I don't know but yeah good raid from cookie and uh sorry for those guys I didn't get to show you tri your triples but uh time is a factor so I will be back with the next one hopefully uh we get a decent match before the weekend that I can come and recap if not I'm over in a potluck that hopefully matches up with somebody and I can give you that recap so you'll have stuff coming later this week till then thanks for watching